James Bensey, aka the Bearded Bensey. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a little bit of a, a mix match on this one because I have the sensational Agvape Drugger in yellow to test as well as an assortment of Cheap Thrills liquid. So the Cheap Thrills that I'm trying today oh, are Sunset Ice, which is a really nice liquid. I'm currently vaping that in a tank separately. Uh, and I have Sunset Strip, just a normal one. I also have Rush Rush Ice, and I also have Ocean Ice. Now, don't forget guys, the way that I do my juice reviews is slightly different from everyone else. I will tell you exactly what I think of it personally. I'll also be going in depth with the yellow drugger and my iJoy Diamond Mini Kit there. So it's a nice little gold one for you. Um, I found already with this tank, just while I work on this already, I have got just a very simple build in at the moment because I have been sampling this one today. Um, I'm not a massive lover, I'm going to admit, of the way that the airflow sits on this tank. Um, let me just pull this back on. I don't know whether I can get this on camera. If I can get them to... Can you just refocus on that one for me so you get a nice... I don't know whether that camera's just caught it enough on there, but I'll try to show you on the inside. The coils just on the inside are literally sitting right on that airflow. So if you do overdrip even the slightest, it just overflows straight out of here. Now, in part, that could be for me building quite high with my coils, but I like them in that airflow. And I've got them like literally centered in the airflow holes. So the right way I like them, but that's the only drawback that I found with this particular dripper. I like the posts. I'm a little bit finickety about screw on posts. I prefer push downs, post and stacks, like the Pulse 24, which is coming up in the next few days. So that's a dripper that I really enjoy. Um, but on this one, just I think I've got this one on here now. You can hear that airflow is totally unrestricted and that's not the liquid at all that was on it, but I'll bake that one anyway and clear it off so we've got a nice clean palette. But yeah, nice little, uh, you're not going to be able to see it here on the thing, but it's got drugger wrote on your little Delrin drip tip, so let's just have a look at what I get in here. So in this little tub, I have an Allen key, which I'm presuming is for swamping. And inside, I mean, right down at the bottom of this little foam tube that it comes in. I also have a drip tip converter, so you can go from 810 to 510. And also a larger 810 mouthpiece, just in case you want it. And a spare O-ring set. And yeah, there it is. Buried right inside the bag. Your squonk pin. So, I haven't tried using it as a squonk. Um, I'm not really into squonks. If any of you watch our Facebook channel, on our Facebook page for the Ellsmere Port Store. I am not a lover of squonks. I cannot get on board with them whatsoever. So to me, that swamp is useless, so we'll get rid of that box. So like I was saying, I'm gonna be running this one just at 60 watts just so we can do a quick liquid test. I was gonna do this side by side with one of our other staff members, but unfortunately he's not well at the moment, so I'm gonna do this one without him. Uh, hopefully he will be in for the next juice review which I'm really excited to do because the new Steep flavours are out. So if you are a lover of the Steep Vape Co, keep your eyes out for the next video on those. Uh, so first off, I'm going to go with Sunset Ice. Now let me get this one out. This is a blueberry on ice. So as you can see, these are all nip free. So these are zero and they come in this nice little glass bottle. I do, however, dislike personal preference, the droplets. Not a massive lover of them at all. I'm just being pernickety. You know how I am. Let's just get a bit of this. I am dripping the right juice, guys, just because you can't see it. So let's pop that back in there. 
So, as always, guys, don't forget, the way that I do my juice reviews is I will be completely honest with you. I'll give you my feedback. I'll also tell you what I think other people are going to think about it. And I'm going to try and score them as well. So, let's see how we go with the cheap frills line. The blueberry isn't as strong as I was expecting. Which kind of lets it down just a little bit. I mean, that ice hit, it's kind of sweet. Now, I don't know whether that's that blueberry that mixing in with the ice, and it's not, it's not quite where I'd expect it to be. I was hoping for a little bit more of that, and then, now that tastes different in a tank, because the blueberry notes come out slightly higher. So let's just see what they say on the back here. Flavoring. It's probably the sucralose that's in there that I can taste really sweet, but on a dripper, that blueberry is quite disappointing. I was hoping for a massive punch of blueberry, but if I've got to be honest, uh, on a dripper, it's getting a fire out of time. Just because I was expecting more, like I say, I've got a tank on for the next review that you'll see later on anyway. Um, but it tastes so much nicer in the tank than it does on a dripper, I'm quite... It tastes like a sweet ice, not, not a blueberry ice. If it was a blueberry ice, I think it'd be, it'd be up there with one of the nicest blueberries, but it just tastes like a sweet ice to me. So, Cheap Thrills just up that blueberry just a little. So let's move away from the ice ones for a second and we'll go with Sunset Strip. So in this one, this one is Berry Strawberry. So it's a mixture of berries and strawberries. Again, you know my take on strawberries. People and companies go a little bit too far and the strawberry can end up tasting chemically. Now a lot of you have seen my other reviews on juices. I know exactly what I'm on about. And I'm... Still trying to find a real quality strawberry. So let's see, let's crack a whack in with this one. Oh. How are you guys enjoying the new sign as well, by the way? I know I'm, I know I'm missing that half of it with my, my beautiful fat head right in the middle of it. There we go. So at 60 watts, I was just getting an intense berry. And the strawberry wasn't coming through as much. So I just whacked it up to 80. Now strawberries come out a hell of a lot more. Strawberries are a lot more relevant in that liquid now and you can't really taste the berry as much. But I'm afraid to say it, the strawberry is just on that side of being a chemically strawberry. It's not what I'd expect from quality juice line is that meh, meh of a strawberry um, I know you've heard me saying it about the CBD it gives you an aftertaste of strawberries kind of the same if it's not quite right and it's like an artificial strawberry it doesn't taste anything like a strawberry it just tastes like a, like a chemical version of it and I can't get on board with something like that so again that's unfortunately for me personally it's going to get a 4 out of 10 just based purely on that strawberry. I thought, oh, cheap thrills are gonna be a decent line, they're gonna smash the strawberries out. That's just my opinion. Obviously, as we've said many a time, vaping liquids are subjective. Everyone's palate's completely different. There are flavors that I don't like that some of my regular customers love, and vice versa. It just, this is just like an information, really, and whether you like the liquid. Uh, so now I'm going to swiftly move on to Ocean Ice, which is a cantaloupe and melon flavour with that ice hit as well. Now I'm going to struggle with this. Anyway, sorry about that guys, Chris on the camera again. Shocking, not telling me what's going on. So I've just been jibbing into myself and then he goes, oh, it's not recording. So I don't know where we left off, but I'm going to carry on anyway, like I was saying. 
if you do over drip ever so slightly it will come out of those air holes um, so I was on this one and like I was saying I don't really like those flavours in a liquid uh, the melon cantaloupes watermelon mango I don't, they, they just don't work for me um, strawberry does in certain liquids excuse me in certain liquids just depends on who's doing it and I have had a couple of companies that do do a really 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 nice strawberry just a lot of others seem to I don't know unless it's because they're not comparing anyway i'm blabbering on about strawberry and i'm supposed to be testing the ocean ice which is cantaloupe melon and ice so let's reluctantly i'll go with this one see for me because i don't like them i don't like that liquid at all but that's no reflection on that liquid I'm going to try and be as honest as I can. Obviously, you guys know what cantaloupes taste like, and you know what melon tastes like. They taste exactly how the fruit tastes, but with a little ice, crushed ice hit in the background. So, that's just something to pay attention to. Um, if you do like those, you're probably going to love that liquid in all fairness. It's just, I, I can eat the fruit, but I can't vape the vape when it's those flavours, because it just doesn't work. So, it, it, it gets a 2 out of 10 from me purely because I don't like those flavours, but that's no dictation on how that liquid is. They're all 1730s. Uh, like I say, it's totally subjective. I just don't like melon. I wish people had stopped giving me melon ones to test because I don't like them. But it is what it is, and I've got. Whoo. So, and we've cleared that one off. We'll move on to the last liquid, which is Rush Rush on Ice which is apple, strawberry and watermelon. So fantastic, I get that chemically strawberry and I get it mixed in with a watermelon. The only reason I'm saying it's a chemical strawberry is because we just tested the other one, it's the same company. So I'm presuming it's going to be the same flavoring that they use. Because why would they change it for a number line? So, they do do another few liquids, um, which we're possibly going to test at a later date, but again, it's just got a little dribble out of them airflow holes. That's not a good thing for me. Um, I don't think I'll be using this dripper after this test, um, because that is slightly annoying for me, personal point. See, and again, I don't know whether it's because I don't like the watermelon. The, the watermelon seems to overpower the strawberry and the apple, and all I can taste is watermelon. So for someone who doesn't like certain flavours, i.e. watermelon, if you don't like watermelon, don't pick up that one, because the watermelon does overpower the other flavours. I was hoping, because it was further down the list, that it was going to be one of the undertones. It wasn't going to be a prime flavour. But, again, that could just be because I don't like watermelon and a vape that it seems overbearing and over powerful for that particular liquid and um, so let's have another go and see if I can get any other flavours out of it I get the slight hint of apple which the apple that I can get is like a real nice crisp green apple I'm struggling to find any strawberry at all but I'm just it's like being smacked in the face with a watermelon and for me, that just doesn't work. I'm sorry, guys, it just doesn't work. Um, so, I'm going to end this review uh, and I'll be back. Uh, I think I've got a Vapor Storm 100 kit. Um, and I think I may do the Pulse 24 in the same video just because I may as well. Do you know what? We'll do it all in the same one. I'll do the Vapor Storm 100 and Pulse 24 in another video. Uh, that'll probably come out in the next couple of days. And then next week, we have that sneak line coming. So I'm going to keep the flavours secret. If you do want to sneak peek at the flavours, pop along to the Electrified Facebook page, pop along to the Ellesmere Port one, or on Instagram, or check us all out. We've all got them. It's all out there, but I'll keep it secret for you guys just for that little bit. So guys, you know what to do. Vape on, vape strong, and as always, keep it cloudy.